Hello everyone, welcome back. This is my third vlog for my Security Pro certification. Um, in week two's vlog, I left off at, I believe it was at the end of 5.4. I haven't completed 5.4, but I was like, just had to do a section quiz or whatever. So I've gotten through this week. I've gone to all the way to 5.10 and I just started 5.11. So we don't have that much to, to go through. I mean, they're these uh, 5.13 and 5.11 are pretty long, but we should be able to wrap that up next week and get on to chapter 6, get on to some new stuff. Um, basically, what I've learned, though, through these uh, couple sections here, though, I learned in the beginning how to install VPN through PFSense through my router. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I did URL blocking, so blocking certain URLs, allowing certain URLs, and stuff like that. And uh, I learned how to just quick configure a switch, like put in passwords and stuff like that. So I'm going to start off right away with going to the URL blocking lab. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, what you do here, once you load in, you got to put in your password for your router. So what you want to do is go to PF blocker ng. Once you're here, you click enable PF blocker. Make sure you go down and save that. Next, you want to go to DNSLBL, and again, you want to click Enable. Once you're down here, we need to put in our DNSBL server, or sorry, our IP address. And once you're down here, this is where you uh, allow and uh, block certain URLs. So here we want to block these URLs, so we'll put paste these in. And then these, this list down here is the ones we want to allow. So we'll put them in our whitelist. Once we're here, we'll save. And then they should all be there. That looks all right. So next, what we want to do is allow, or sorry, we want to block DNS from the LAN network. And we also want to allow DNS from the LAN network. So what we want to do here is go to firewall and then rules. You want to click add. So we want to block this one, and the interface is the LAN. So our source is our LAN network. Our destination is going to be uh, the DNS port. And then our description will be block, uh, sorry, block DNS from LAN. Um, we also need to change our protocol to UPP, UDP, as I missed earlier. And we'll type this in right. And once you save that, we have our rule in here. Next, we need to allow it. So what we do here this time is change our protocol to UDP this time. Allow our source to any, but our destination is going to be the LAN network. And our port range will be DNS again. And then our description will be allow all DNS to LAN. And there you go. We have added our rule to allow all DNS from the, the LAN and block DNS from the LAN. So next, I'm going to show you the, the configuring the switch which I thought was cool. It's pretty uh, pretty simple to do as well. But what you do here, um, you go into Google Chrome as it loads. You load in Google Chrome, type in the IP address of the router. Once you're here, you type in the password. And as you can see, both the password is this and the username are the same. They're both Cisco, so that's pretty weak. So what we want to do is we want to change that. But once you're here, you want to click change device password. And what our steps it wants us to do here is actually it wants us to create a new user. So what we'll do here is add this username in. Add our password in. And we want it to set on the highest privilege. And we've added our new IT switch admin user. Next, it wants us to change this uh, Cisco user. So what we want to do here is add this password. We want to get rid of the old password because 
wasn't very secure. And we also want to change this user to have the minimum access as we already have an, an admin account. We don't need two admins accounts. Once you're here, what we need to do now is save. We'll click the save button in the top right. Click apply. Okay. And we have now configured a switch. So that's kind of what I've been over. So next week, or at least 5.11 looks pretty cool. Going into spoofing, hardening a switch, uh, VLANs, router ACLs, all stuff that looks pretty interesting. So I'll see you then.